Its police department is getting some upgrades thanks to a couple of million federal dollars secured by Senator Jack Reed. Today he toured the facility to see where that money is going. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live in studio with more on how it's going to help keep people safe. Brittany. Well, Mike, the bulk of the funding will bring two dozen new police cruisers to the department. Chief Hugh Clemens tells me the upgrades will help improve efficiency and emergency response. $2.2 million of federal funding to Providence Police will not only help keep residents more safe, but officers as well. Improve the safety of officers, employees, and the public at large. The department decided where the money was needed most. $1.3 million will purchase two dozen new police cruisers, replacing older vehicles with over 100,000 miles. Constantly, constantly going. And it actually saves us in... Uh, equipment repairs and maintenance costs when we get newer vehicles and we upgrade them every three to five years. The remaining $900,000 will go towards security upgrades around the building and cyber. Most importantly was the data security. Look, any breach in data is important not only to the organization but to the community. We have a lot of sensitive information, so that is important to uh, all the residents of the city of Providence. Mayor Jorge Alorza tells me the 440 Providence police members wouldn't be able to do their job protecting the city without the proper tools. And this federal earmark will go a long way keeping Providence on the right track. The number of shootings at this point is down 50% from last year. We have excellent men and women with tremendous training, but they would not be able to do this without the equipment. And the new security cameras at the Providence Public Safety Complex will be installed outside the building as well as inside interrogation rooms. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Providence police are getting millions of dollars from the federal government. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us in studio with what the money is going towards. Brittany. Well, Shannon, the $2.2 million will help Providence police upgrade police cruisers and enhance cybersecurity. Chief Hugh Clemens says the improvements will help protect the city and prevent crime. The backdrop of a $2.2 million check shows where a bulk of the federal funding is going. We will be and we continue to be a safer place because of all these tools. $1.3 million of the federal earmark will be used to purchase two dozen new police cruisers with upgraded communications equipment. They will replace older vehicles with over 100,000 miles. Chief Colonel Hugh Clemens tells me cruisers are constantly driven on patrols and this will save the department on maintenance costs. We've gone so far as to have vehicles 100 50,000 miles on them and it's just it, they can't maintain they can't sustain those numbers with the type of action we have in this city. Mayor Jorge Alorza says that action is down calling this a record low year in crime with six homicides. We haven't been this low on a number of homicides in the city of Providence since at least 1972 but they would not be able to do this without the equipment and without uh, uh, you know, the kinds of cars and the equipment that we're providing today. $600,000 will go towards cybersecurity upgrades. The remaining $300,000 will improve the physical security of the Providence Public Safety Complex by adding new cameras. Every day they go to work, it, it, there's a danger, and we want to minimize that danger. Uh, we can provide them equipment. And those new security cameras will be located on the outside of the complex and inside of interrogation rooms. The new police cruisers have not arrived yet, but they are expected to hit city streets in the next couple months. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.